Hey guys, thought I would just do a, uh, a quick update here. Um, I know I haven't posted many updates uh, as the project has gone along, mainly because when I'm out here working in the garage, it's really hot and I've got the fan going. Uh, this thing is really loud, uh, especially when it's on full speed. You know, I'm out here sweating to death. Um, I've usually got my gloves on. Love these things, by the way. Recommend those. And so it's just really hard to video and, and film and do things as I'm going along. So um, that's kind of why I've been a little lazy, I guess, um, with doing updates. So at the moment, um, I just fired it up and it's running good. However, once it goes into uh, open loop, I think it is, when it warms up, um, I have an idle surge problem. So I don't know if it's the idle air control valve. We'll have to kind of tinker with that a little bit. Um, it could be the, uh, the throttle position sensor is not in its recommended range. So I got to figure out how to do that. As you can see here, let me back up. There's not much room in this garage. Uh, 95 to 97 uh, grill and headlights. Um, so they don't have the little... So it's one thing I didn't like about these. Well, first of all, these are super yellow. Um, but also this little um, cutout right here. Not really a fan of that. Not really a fan of this grill either. So went to the 9597 setup. Got a good deal on these uh, from a guy in Canada. I got them all bolted up here. They all bolt in pretty good. There's some fitment issues. You can see the gap here on the bottom um, is not great. Um, but I think that's because the corner light is not pressed in all the way um, and it won't stay. Um, and then the grill here has a little broken spot. The good part about this grill is that this mesh piece here is actually separate from the surround. Um, so I can separate it and either replace this piece or try to make a custom one or something. Um, I'm gonna try and see if I can get the new Nissan logo, their new one that they just came out with. Um, I'm gonna see if I can find one that will fit this. And then we do have some bumper fitment issues I gotta figure out, like see how close this is right here. Um, but then there's a huge gap right here and then as you can see on this side with the headlight there is a monster gap <laughs> so i'm gonna have to uh have to figure that out i can see here that the headlight is below the grill but on this side it's pretty flush um so i don't know if that's a headlight fitment issue or what i could try to put some stuff under the bumper to close the gap so as i said basically um Everything's good to go. Um, the power steering still does have some leaks, which is unfortunate. Power steering system in these is not that great for not leaking. Got the battery all mounted up. There's only one bolt on this side, but I've got two on this side. Um, this one kind of uh, interferes with the body, so I couldn't really go through it. Got the fuse boxes mounted over here, and I put some EPT foam down in here so that it doesn't wear into the wires. Catch can system is all in. Uh, six element catch can and I just got some 3 8 fuel line and hooked that all up as you can see the uh, intake manifold was vapor honed to make it look new again uh, right now I'm just using the standard throttle cable bracket but I do want to change that out for one that will allow me to run cruise control at some point um, I did buy a bracket uh, from somebody online which is not gonna work got the wheels on and got some Nismo lug nuts to go with them um, the axle nuts are not tight yet. Uh, I'll have to wait till I put the car back on the ground. It's still up on jack stands. Um, so currently the holdup is the clutch pedal. Now I've got, this is the stock clutch pedal, which is designed to work with the cable system. And then this is a clutch pedal from uh, 97 Maxima. Now the hole, the support bracket hole at the top is not in the right spot. Uh, this one's kind of, you can see it's kind of in the middle there in this in this bracket, um, whereas this one's kind of off to the left. Their relative position, you know, front to back is about the same, you know, relative position this way. What I'm going to end up doing is creating a bracket that I can bolt to this guy, and then it'll just go into the middle and I'll be able to bolt it to the body. Um, right now it's looking like maybe a three quarter inch steel square tube uh, with a couple holes in it is going to be the solution. Basically that's the holdup. Once I get the clutch pedal taken care of, then I can put the master in 
and bleed the system. This guy right here is a speed bleeder, and it uh, allows you to bleed. They make them for brakes too, for brake calipers. Uh, it allows you to bleed the system by yourself. It has a, a valve in it, a check ball, so that it'll let fluid out, but it won't let air in. So you can bleed the brakes or the clutch or whatever by yourself without needing help. So right now that's pretty much um, what's going on. As you can see, the garage is a mess from this whole project. I got stuff laying all over. And what sucks is that in about a month and a half, uh, maybe a little less than that, um, I'm going to be moving. So it's kind of a rush to get this thing done because I'm going to need it to be roadworthy by then. And then I have to pack up all this stuff. And by the way, if you have an Elantra Sport 17 or 18 and you want some side skirts and a front lip, I have some. Um, I've been trying to sell them for months and apparently nobody's interested. So that's just a quick update. And uh, once I get the car uh, running and driving, I will uh, post another one. So we'll uh, see you guys then.